this comes up all the time. People are posting online, what size battery do I need? How many hours can I get out of this type of battery? And actually that math is pretty simple. So we're gonna run through it here real quick and help you determine what you need to get set up. All right, so the first part of this is going to be what size battery do you need? And you're gonna need a couple things to determine that. The first thing you're gonna need is going to be the current draw. The specific current draw you need is going to be provided in some sort of uh, factory manual. I'm gonna provide a chart here in just a minute for some examples of what I found, but you'll need to find exactly what you need to run. Then you're gonna need how many hours of runtime do you need? Uh, that's gonna depend on someone that wants to go out for two, three hours, eight hours, or maybe you're a 12 to 14 hour sun up to sundown kind of fisherman. So that's gonna be up to you. The math there is going to be the current draw of what your unit is times how many hours you need it to run. And that's gonna give you the amp hours that you're going to need. So the example here is if I have my 93 SV Garmin running live scope, uh, that's going to be a 2.8 amp draw. And let's just say I want to fish for eight hours. So I'm going to take that 2.8 times eight, and that's going to give me 22.4. Hopefully you're keeping up with me. This is pretty simple math so far, but that's going to give me 22.4 amp hours. And that's how many amp hours of a battery I need for a 12 volt battery. Now the second part of that is going to be when you start comparing voltages, you'll see a lot of lithium battery companies putting out a 16 volts marine electronics battery. Um, unfortunately, according to Garmin, when I asked them, uh, the increased voltage actually has no impact on performance, but I'll leave that up to you. When we start comparing voltages, uh, they are not quite the same. A 16 volt, 24 amp hour battery is not the same capacity as a 12 volt. 24 amp hour battery. So we're gonna have to convert them to something similar, right? Uh, and that's gonna be called watt hours. So uh, you've heard of wattage of your light bulbs. So we gotta get that amp draw over to watts. So to get to watt hours, we're gonna take our amp hour rating times our battery voltage. That's it. And that's how we get to watt hours. And then what you can do with that is you can compare a 20 volt battery to a 12 volt battery and understand the difference in actual battery energy capacity between these two. So the example I'm gonna give you here is these two powerhouse batteries that's listed on their website. The first one is a 12 volt, 60 amp hour battery. So we're gonna take that 12 volts times 60 amp hours and that's gonna give us 720 watt hours. Now the next part of that is the 16 volt battery. They sell a 16 volt, 48 amp hour battery. Same math here, 16 times 48, and that's gonna give us 768 watt hours. Obviously 768 is more than 720. So you can say that the 16 volt battery is going to have a little bit more energy capacity than the other. Actually about 7% more, so not a huge difference. Speaking of percentages, 98% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe for me. All right, so that's going to cover how many hours you can run a specific battery depending on the different voltages i'm going to put up this chart right here and that's going to help you line out uh, 12 volt current draw 16 volt current draw for a variety of different uh, fish finder units as well as the uh, live sonar active target whatever we want to call it and so the next thing is going to be charge times this is the lithium charger i use i'll link it in the description it's nothing fancy but it is a 12 volt 2 amp type charger and you'll see this also asked online, you know, this person's running a half amp charger and it's been charging for 15 hours and it's still not done yet. Uh, that's also pretty simple math that we can figure out. So let's use this battery as an example of how to determine the charge time. So a 24 amp hour battery with a two amp charger, we're gonna take 24 amp hours divided by two amps. That's gonna get us to hours and that's gonna take 12 hours for this charger to charge this battery. So as you take a look at your charger and what kind of lithium battery you wanna charge, whether it's a, a half amp or a two amp or a five, 10, 20, whatever it might be, uh, you can figure out that math on how long it's gonna take you to charge that guy. So the last one here is we're gonna give you a quick example with these couple batteries that I have sitting here. I have a 20 volt, 1.5 amp hour drill battery. I have a lead acid, nine amp hour, 12 volt battery. And then I have this 12 volt, 24 amp hour battery. We're gonna compare them and just give you a quick example of how to get to watt hours for all of them and then compare the runtime for my specific setup. 
So the example I'm gonna use is for my 93 SV running live scope. And I am going to get the watt hour draw for that. So looking at the chart I provided earlier, that's gonna be for the head unit, a 12 watt draw. And then for the black box from Garmin, that's a 21 watt draw. So we're up to 33 watts of power draw. So now with that in mind, we're gonna write that down and put it to the side. And now we're gonna figure out the watt hour capacity of each one of these guys. So like I said before, we're gonna take the voltage of the battery, multiply it by the amp hours to come up with the watt hours for that. So the first one here is gonna be 12 volts times 24 amp hours, and that's gonna be 288 watt hours. And we're gonna take that 288 and divide it by 33, which is what I just said was the power draw for my specific unit. And this battery is gonna run my live scope with the 93SV for just under nine hours. That's not too bad. Next guy up is this little nine amp hour sealed lead acid battery. It's going to be same math here, 12 times nine is actually gonna be 108 watt hours. So this guy, 108 divided by 33 is gonna get us only 3.3 hours of runtime out of this guy running a live scope. Now the famous drill battery, this is obviously a very small capacity drill battery, but it gets us to the example of changing the, the voltages here. So same math here, 20 volts times 1.5 amp hours is gonna get us 30 watt hours. That's it. Uh, that 30 watt hours is going to run my live scope for under an hour before it's completely dead. So if you're starting to look at drill batteries, to run your live scope or something, make sure you're running a pretty decent amp hour battery so you can get some real capacity out of it. Otherwise, you're gonna be buying a bunch of batteries. If you wanna hear some tips and tricks for getting started with your live scope, check out this video over here. We'll see you next time.